What's up? How are you? Today we're gonna go over shredding and rhythm chugging. You'll be the next best thing to every band that's out there right now. It's gonna be awesome. You're gonna love it. Everyone else is gonna love it. I'm gonna beat Eddie Van Halen's ass with a shovel. That's what we're gonna do today. And I will love it. Here we go. So you're gonna wanna go ahead then, Doug, get yourself a fucking guitar. We're going with Ibanez today. I play Ibanez. And then uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead then, uh, you know, get some shit to go with your shit to make your shit sound like shit. You follow the rhythm here. So once you got some shit, you can go ahead and uh, plug it all in using cables and cords and fuck not. You can turn some shit on, you know. You feel like you need to. I mean, most times you gotta turn your shit on, I mean, unless you got a bassist or something. Dot, dot, dot. You got your tube shit. Oh, that's what we're using. We're using the tube shit. We don't fuck around with solid state shit like line six. We got some more shit over here. If you're just starting out, you won't really know what this shit is. I mean, I've been playing for 16 years. I still don't know what this shit is. Okay, so once you get said shit and more shit, you're ready to go. But there's a couple more steps you need to take. And these are some of the harder ones. Now we're ready to tune and shred the fuck out. There's a problem though. You're gonna embark on the most important journey of your life. Probably the hardest thing you'll ever do in life. There is a rare thing in being a guitarist. The rarest rarity of the rare community of Raritan. You have to find yourself a guitar pick. Now what makes this the hardest thing to do is these are elusive motherfuckers. Losing them is as simple as one. There's no two, three. All you have to do is drop that fucking thing and it Houdini's. You will never find it again. I don't care what color the pick or your carpet, hardwood flooring, linoleum, you'll never find it again, ever. It's gone, lost forever. Now, being the person I am, I went ahead and prepared for the video. I spent two years finding another pick. I know, I know, rolling in the deep. I'm in the big leagues, got picks. You know, but it ain't no thing. I'm humble. I'm just like every man. I put pants on one leg at a time, except for Sundays, I jump right into them. Once you go ahead and acquire yourself a guitar pick, you're gonna wanna tune it. Your guitar, if you're like me, saved up a couple guitar picks, you're able to send it out to, uh, you know, California. Or if you're not quite that lucrative in the guitar pick industry, you can send it to Indonesia, Korea, Vietnam, Russia, Germany, you know, they'll tune it for you. They put it in a robot, and the robot tunes it. It takes it about six weeks, but it'll tune it out. Or you could go ahead and be a fucking hero and try and tune it yourself, you know, go string by fucking string, and play the guessing game of tuning a guitar. And to all you seven, eight, nine string players, twelve if you play acoustics, if you're one of those people, go back to fucking school, have a Jolly Rancher, back the fuck off, and sit in the padded room for a second. You need a timeout. That's too many strings to be playing the guessing game with. You're gonna wanna go ahead and tune it. Mine's tuned perfectly right now. I just got it back from California, you know. I had some picks saved up. Well, you could be like, you know, Mr. Roman, play clean. But nobody likes a fucking sob story. So, we play with distortion, lots of it. Now that you got your pick, you got your guitar, it's all tuned up, you've acquired said shit, you got the distortion on, your tubes on the you know, this thing, they're all warmed up, you know, you could get a solid state thing, but let's be honest, I have guitar picks. You ready to, uh, shred the fuck out? You ready to make Eddie Van Halen cry like a little schoolgirl? Make Ingve Malmsteen get on his knees in front of you and beg you to take one of his fenders? You ready to make Mick Thompson feel like he plays kids' songs, okay? That's how hard you're gonna shred after this lesson. Okay, now that you got everything figured out, you got said shit, all ready to go. Fucked with it, you fucked with it. You got all the distortion coming out of it that you can get. You found your pick. Now the last step, stance. No, I'm not talking about a VW on bags. I'm talking about how you're supposed to stand when you're on stage. 
We'll start with the strap. Just get every bit of it you can. Just fucking let her go. Plastic on plastic. How you know it's low enough? Belt buckle. Now, I got a small belt buckle so I can get away with this puny ass strap. It would be much better if I had like a nine yard long strap. I could let the guitar rest on the floor. Alright, now, leg placement. Important. This is very important. You're going to have to go as wide as you possibly can. Make sure you're wearing skinny jeans. That way by the time you adjust enough to get your stance, it looks like you're expecting a flood. And then square them off as much as you can. And then your feet, east and west. Fully east and west. In fact, you are the compass. North, east, south, west. Be the compass. East and west with the feet, square with the knees. And it's better if you have to concentrate on standing up straight. Balance. Make it so you're like quivering. Like you got Parkinson's trying to stand here. Make it so it, it's like uncomfortable. Like right in here, right in the groin. Stretch out them hammies. Now arms. Wear a sweatshirt. Roll the sleeves up. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to. Okay. We'll start with the left arm. You're just going to want to go ahead and bring it up at a 90 degree angle. Stick your thumb out and mute all five strings except for the bottom one with uh, the, free, the only three fingers you have mobile to some certain extent. And then your right arm, contrary to popular belief, you do not hold it right here. You get it up here. You bring it right up. Get ready. Preload the fucking thing. Make sure the guitar is slightly facing the ground. That way it's very, very accessible. Like, you won't even believe how accessible your guitar becomes. This is gorilla stance. We're gonna make that thing go gorilla. You're gonna make it so you have to breathe heavily to stand like this. Put your head up like this. Look at the crowd to the point to where your voice is getting all kinds of fucked up. Cutting out all the time. Okay. That's how you get the vocals. Now you're ready to fucking just lay into it. Bring the volume up. Get ready to give it. Go gorilla. <laughs> volume on. Make sure your tubes are on. And you're ready to shred. You ready?